Okay, to find the probability density function. Okay, from commutative, next we want to find the probability density function. Okay, so we have to differentiate. Okay, to find capital F from small f, we have to integrate. Therefore, okay, small f to capital F, we have to integrate. So, F, capital F to small f, we have to differentiate in the interval. Okay. Example. Okay. Given continuous random variable x has the cumulative, okay, cumulative is capital F, Okay, distributive fun distribution function given by, okay, the first one, 0, and the last one is 1. Find the probability density function, capital, uh, small f. This means we have to differentiate. Differentiate capital F, then we get small f. Okay, differentiate 0, we get 0. Differentiate x cube over the x, we get, okay, this one, 0. Okay, this one, we get x less than 0. So, this one, differentiate x cube, so we get 3x square over 27. Then, simplify, we get x square over 9. For interval 0, x to 3. And differentiate 1, we get 0 for x more than or equal 3. So, 0 and 0, we can combine, then equal to otherwise. So, the first function is x square over 9. So, 0 to 3. And 0 is otherwise. Okay. Hence... Hence means refer to the first question. The first question is find the density function, uh, capital F, uh, small f. So, to find probability x less than 1 is we have to integrate. Okay, less than 1 means negative infinity to, to 1. So, means integrate negative infinity to 1. Okay, function. Okay, 1 lies between 0 to 3. So, function is x square over 9 dx. So, equal to, so, integrate uh, less than 1 is from 0 to 1. 0 to 1, x square over 9 dx. So, equal to x cube over 9 times 3, 27, 0 to 1, then substitute. Then, substitute the value, limit, substitute the limit. So, we get 1 over 27 minus 0. The answer is 1 over 27. Okay. Example 4. The cumulative capital F continuous random variable X is given by start from 0 and ending with 1 for capital F. Find the value constant A and B. So, this one A and B. Okay, as we know, before and after the value capital F for X equal to 1, between 0 to 1, capital F, so when we substitute x equal to 1, the answer is equal to when we substitute x equal to 1 from the next interval in this function. So, the same value. Then, we equate. Okay, at x equal to at x equal to 1, okay, f 1 from the left side equal to f 1 from the right side okay, equal to substitute 1 left side is 1 over 
3 1 square 1 equal to substitute 1 to the left right side function is 1 minus a 1 square minus b so equal to 1 minus a minus b so a plus b equal to so negative so we get positive 1 minus uh, 2 over 2 over 3 okay equation 1 then we use at x equal to 3 at x equal to 3 substitute f3 from left equal to f3 from right 3 from left this function so substitute x equal to 3 minus 9a minus b 9a minus b equal to 1 so negative 9a minus b equal to 1 minus 3 negative negative 2 so 9a plus b equal to 2 equation 2 ok simultaneous equation solve the simultaneous equation ok a plus b equal to 3 over 2 uh, 2 over 3 ok then 9 ok this one 3a plus 3b equal to 2 equation 1 and next equation 9b 9a plus b equal to equal to 2 Okay, this uh, equation 1 times 3. So, we get 9A plus 9. Okay, so the simultaneous equation. Equation 1 we times by 3. So, we get 9A, 9B equal to 2 times 3, 6. Equation 3. Okay, then equation 3 minus equation, equation 2. 9 minus 9A, 0. So, 9 minus 9B minus B. So, we get 8B equal to 6 minus 2. We get 4. So, B equal to 1 over 1 over 2. Therefore, A equal to equal to 2 over 3. 2 over 3 minus B. B 1 over 1 over 2. Minus 1 over 2. So 4 minus 3. 1 over 6. 4, 3. 4 minus 3. 1 over 6. Okay. Question B. Find the probability density function capital F. Uh, small f. Okay, therefore, capital F equal to okay, 0, x less than 0. So, x square over 3 for 0 to 1. Okay, a. So, this one, x. a is 1 over 6. So, minus x square over 6. b equal to 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 for 1 to 3 and 1 for x more than 3 ok to find small f we have to differentiate ok differentiate all this one differentiate 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 ok differentiate capital F so we get small f Differentiate 0, 0, differentiate 1, 0, combine these two, we get otherwise. Okay, differentiate x square, so we get 2x over 3 for interval 0 to 1. Okay, differentiate x, we get 1, differentiate x square, we get 2x. Simplify, we get x over 
3 differentiate constant 0 so mm -hmm. interval just copy 3 and last one is 0 otherwise 